Hello everyone, in this video series, I'm going to talk about Microsoft Cognitive Services as a pre-built AI tools that you can use and consume the API in other application uh, from developer application to the report uh, and also like Power BI, Databricks or in other application like C Sharp, .NET, uh, Microsoft Flow, uh, Microsoft Power Automate, and also Power App. So as you can see here is actually actual, uh, cognitive services has uh, kind of five main categories, decision, language, speech, vision, and web search. Uh, they are different and I'm trying in a couple of different videos explain what they are doing and how you can use it. The first one that I'm going to talk about is anomaly detection. So I'm click on anomaly detection here. So anomaly detection, as the name says, is actually help you to find the data point that they have some problem. So you can actually easily embed anomaly detection into your apps and provide some data. It can be time series data that's actually able to detect the anomaly based on the what you have in your current status, find the anomaly in your data. So uh, to try it, you can click on try anomaly detector. You have the option of seven days trial or a free Azure account if you don't have, if you consume the seven days. And also if you have an Azure account, you can set it up. Um, and uh, when I'm talking uh, after this, I will talk about how to, you can use it in Power BI. But before that, I'm going to actually show you first what is this and uh, what is about. So you see that there is a seven day trial. I use that one. You can log in with any of your login that accept Microsoft one. And there is no credit card required and no data safe after that. So it's totally safe to test it. So when you actually click on that, you will see the, actually the different things that you have here. You can see the product overview and also you're able to see the pricing. So this is a pricing. Uh, I'm going to check the, for as you see for Australia, not all region is uh, coming up because it's a preview, but these are the regions. So I'm going to check the Australia one and I want to know based on the, uh, let's see that if I can find, um, for example, Australian dollar. Yep. And you can actually uh, see that one. So that's a uh, free. So the free one is a container. It, you app, you're able to apply to 20,000 uh, uh, transaction free per month. And if you go for the standard and web container, it's actually two cents per 1,000 transaction which is actually good also the support and sla is free billing and subscription and the other part so i'm going to actually to click on that uh, you can start it and use that one for free just back to the previous mode okay so i'm going you can actually check the different parts of we are going to explore the documentation uh, so under the here you will see that is actually you can use it with c sharp and python uh, i'm going to actually uh, see a demo through that so i'm going to actually uh, to see a demo uh, that how we can actually use that one so i'm going to here uh, and i'm going to interactive under interactive demo, you actually you able to see some of the importance. So there are two sample data. I choose the one of them. And as you can see here, you're able to uh, provide the sensitivity of the data to be uh, actually to anomaly. So you can set it up how much it can be from zero to 99%. Actually, you can provide that how much it can be sensitive. First, I put it very kind of in the middle. And the first option that actually I'm going to use uh, for the sensitivity uh, is actually anomaly detector based on last API. That is mean I'm already this already uh, trained the model for the data. So based on the data that we have, it created the model. Now is for each data point is actually to is going to tell us it is anomaly or not. So it's so similar to the actually. 
uh, streaming data so it needs me the api key i need to go and grab my api key from the one so i'm already have it here let me bring it okay so i'm copy the url here and i'm back and put the url key over here okay so now i'm able to start so it's going to start and as you see that point by point is going to detect so that's the first one is fine so it's kind of the anomaly about the data uh, you will see if i hover my mouse also you're able to see the live actually uh, reports about the that's as a JSON part in here so it's actually is going to show that one point by point I can actually increase the sensitivity and I say I want to make it continue so it's going to detect so it's now is actually the range that is going to be considered as an anomaly become much higher so not only the peak point like this but you will see that even uh, some of the point that previously didn't consider them as a uh, uh, anomaly is also is to be be choose as anomaly detector so again i can stop it make it higher to 95 and we can see that how is actually is going to be change uh so uh these are the one you can actually bring that one another one is actually anomaly detector entire api that means that this going to uh, detect for the whole range of the data set so again you can actually i'm started through that so as you see it's not going point by point it's going like a batch processing one so both of them actually can be used for uh, anomaly detector in power bi for the batch data set so for example you have a data set in power bi and you want to apply this api through that or it can be used uh, as a kind of streaming data from for example from data coming from twitter from a uh, from a sensor or whatever you are actually you able to detect the anomaly of the data okay uh, also you can this is a just a uh, simple data doesn't have any seasonality but for example in a second sample that uh, here is going to show it's going to actually is also able to apply on the time series data so you can actually uh, provide it for the time series data to point the uh, what is the anomaly you want to have also you can able to uh, max detecting window i identify that that is about the uh, how many history pawn are you use, used to detect the current anomaly so these are the point of the data that actually we have or uh, you are able to identify the ratio of the max percentage of the anomaly in one detection the same is actually you can use it for a batch data so you can set I want to have it for a, a batch of the data and see that. So you see that at the once is actually apply on your data and mention how much data has been there. Or you can use it with a data of its seasonality. So the same problem, you can actually apply it on the data with the seasonality and you can actually identify that how much of data, how much of your data has been anomaly and the rest. So let me start it. Okay, so I'm going to run it. So as you see, it's going to, uh, for a data that has seasonality, you can actually use it. So these are the sample data. You can able to also bring your own data here to check it. This is a demo file. So this actually show you the, what is happening in the demo data. So as you see here, it's going to detect. Uh, still doesn't find any anomaly on data. I expect that here we should have, let's see that is able to find it or not. So however, uh, also you can use it uh, uh, in the next videos, I'm able actually to find the uh, kind of find the anomaly detection inside power bi i will show you the code using the m language actually to call this api and use it for anomaly detection uh, just a minute 
to choose the file actually your file should be a csv file and it should have a time step that is a time and also the value one as a second column for the value so i'm going to bring the data that i have that's a milk production data so it actually is going to be apply on that and as you see here it has both seasonality and also it has the uh, actually the uh, kind of the pattern in a data so i'm going to the batch file oh it needs my one so i'm going to again copy that one put it here the api and it's going to start So as you see that this data actually is really really fine data so it doesn't have that much anomaly and i'm going to use the detector to start it to see that how it's actually able to find so as you see that the uh, a standard one going to one by one to actually to click that uh, actually to find the anomaly in your data set so this actually can be used for different scenarios uh, in the next video i'm going to show you how we can actually apply anomaly detection on the weather data that we have some anomaly in the data and how we can actually use it uh, upon our data that we have in power bi thanks so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoy it uh, in next video i'm going to show you how to use anomaly detector inside power bi desktop.